Quantum cosmology applies the principles of quantum mechanics directly to the entire universe, treating the cosmos as a single quantum system. As such, this single system is governed by a wave function that describes all possible spacetime geometries and evolutionary paths for this system. This concept is quite difficult to grasp, so we're going to take it nice and slow because those that are trying to understand the quantum dynamics of the universe, whether for knowledge or to enhance healing, might want to have a working understanding. In classical general relativity, the universe expands from a Big Bang singular event, which is simply inconsistent with physics as we understand it. When scientists run the equations backward, the math breaks down and gives impossible results, like infinite density. This means our current laws stop working right from the start, and we are kidding ourselves if we think our scientific community doesn't know this, yet the Big Bang theory persists. Mainstream physics also doesn't yet have one theory that explains both gravity and quantum behavior at the same time, yet we know that we are much further along in both anti-gravity technology and quantum dynamics. Quantum cosmology fixes the problem of the Big Bang breakdown, yet the information powers continue to deny its existence. Many scientists think quantum physics explains the universe's beginning by avoiding an impossible infinite point and by allowing tiny random changes to shape the early universe. This allows the universe to start through a natural quantum transition, suggesting time itself may not have existed at the very beginning. These theories let the universe emerge in an orderly way from deeper physical laws, without needing a true starting point, and this is more consistent with the way of the universe as we know it. So is this what was meant by always was and always will be? This idea is based on the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, created in 1967 by physicists John Wheeler and Bryce DeWitt. The equation applies quantum rules to gravity and gives us the wave function of the universe, which is a mathematical description of the whole universe that doesn't change over time. So anyone who understands basic math understands that the results are relative to the measurements. This description relates to something called superspace, which is like an infinite dimensional space containing all possible shapes or 3D geometries of the universe at any moment. You've heard of sacred geometry. Now we are beginning to understand and that understanding is going to begin to expand. It's our time. Wheeler also came up with the concept of quantum foam, which describes how space-time gets wildly turbulent and bubbly due to quantum fluctuations at the tiniest scales. In the last video, we discussed how intricate and delicate our quantum fields are. The slightest fluctuations in waves can affect us physically. Stephen Hawking and James Hartle's 1983 No Boundary Proposal uses imaginary time to define a wave function where the universe emerges smoothly, finite in extent, yet without an edge or beginning, like the surface of a sphere. Alexander Vilenkin's tunneling model describes the universe quantum tunneling from a state of nothing, no space, no time, into an inflating phase. Andre Linde's chaotic eternal inflation extends this, generating countless bubble universes from ongoing quantum fluctuations. Alternative perspectives, such as Hannes Alphen's plasma cosmology and the ongoing work of Eric Lerner and Anthony Parrott, incorporate quantum electromagnetic effects on cosmic scales, models that were marginalized yet continue to challenge gravity-dominated views. These frameworks converge on a profound application off-world medbeds. Advanced regenerative systems described in disclosure accounts as originating from extraterrestrial civilizations that have mastered quantum cosmology principles. I've explained this in other videos, but to repeat, these medbeds function as holographic quantum interfaces, according to numerous experts. 
They scan the body at the subatomic and informational levels, then project corrective wave patterns that realign cellular and DNA structures with optimal templates drawn from the individual's own genetic history or universal quantum potentials. Just as the no-boundary proposal smooths cosmic singularities, MedBeds resolve biological singularities, disease, injury, aging, by accessing healthier quantum states. Regeneration occurs through plasma fields, viral energy, and precise frequency modulation that resonates with quantum foam, triggering de-differentiation and rapid tissue rebuilding. Off-world variants include specialized units. Some focus on full limb or organ regrowth, while others are dedicated to age reversal by recalibrating epigenetic markers. There are also these holographic diagnostic beds that operate non-locally, identifying and correcting imbalances across distance. The technology reflects mastery of the Wheeler-DeWitt timelessness. Healing draws from probabilistic possibilities, selecting and manifesting the body's peak configuration within the larger cosmic wave function. This is explaining how and why the medbeds heal differently for different people and their quantum fields. So, declassified documents provide indirect support. The 1983 CIA report, Analysis and Assessment of Gateway Process, details holographic universe models, toroidal energy flows, and quantum non-locality, concepts that, interestingly, align with how medbeds are reportedly able to interface consciousness and biology with universal fields. Stargate Project Files also explore bioenergy manipulation and remote influence, while the absence of direct quantum cosmology references in public archives, it leaves room for the possibility of classified continuation. Accounts consistently describe a protocol limiting use to three treatments over a lifetime. This safeguard is meant to prevent neurological imbalances, memory disruption, or cellular instability from excessive timeline overrides, preserving natural evolutionary rhythms while still allowing for profound renewal at key intervals. Off-world medbeds, then, represent applied quantum cosmology, the body's wave function tuned into harmony with the universe's wave function. Healing in this sense becomes an act of quantum coherence, co-creating optimal reality from infinite potential. Quantum cosmology reveals a cosmos that is probabilistic, interconnected, and self-sustaining. Off-world medbeds extend that revelation to the individual level, offering tools to align personal biology with the same creative principles that birthed the stars. The technology exists in accounts from those with direct knowledge. The physics, rooted in the Wheeler-DeWitt equation, no-boundary states, and quantum tunneling, already publicly exist in theoretical models. When these devices become available, Humanity gains access to regeneration grounded in the deepest laws of existence, the quantum wave that shapes both universe and life. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell as we further explore the science of how off-world medbeds work.